fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this chassis system caboose with full interior. So let's get right into the build here. Our first step is to take a polished black stone block on the outside edge of the tracks here and make a column of three blocks coming up. On the center block, we're going to put an upside down polished black stone stair facing inward and a polished black stone block above it, and then two in the middle on the top two. Then a column of three on this side, in the middle and inward facing upside down stair, and a block right here. Then we're going to take a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to that middle second block for the coupler, delete the ones we use for placement, and we'll put two dark oak fence gates under here to be the airline. Then behind it on this side, we need to make a three block tall T-shaped pattern in the middle of polished black stone blocks. In front of that, we're going to do a five by three polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're going to take the acacia wood slabs and put three of them coming up the gap here to be stairs and three of them coming up this gap on this side. Then in front of it, netherite on each rail with an end round axle. Then we're going to put back to back dark oak stairs upside down in a T-shaped pattern, three blocks wide across the rails. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. On the outsides, we're going to put a hopper in front of each wheel, and then two spruce fences in front of each of the stairs to complete the truck design. Then on the next layer up, we're going to put a row of polished black stone blocks coming up the middle, and that's going to be 21 blocks long in total. Then we'll come underneath this end of this, one block in from the end, and put a row of three upside down, dark oak stairs facing this way. Come around here and put three upside down stairs facing the other way. Then another right on each rail with an end rod axle for the wheel set here. And same thing on this very end, another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then same as before, we're gonna put hoppers in front of the wheels and spruce fences in front of the stairs to complete the truck for this end. Then on the outside edge of this center beam, we're gonna put a row of upside down outward facing polished black stone stairs going end to end. And then we'll do the same thing on this side, a row of upside down polished black stone stairs facing outward. Then we'll come up to the third layer and we'll fill the top middle three with polished black stone end to end. Bring it right down to this end, and we'll stop right here. In front of it, we're gonna make a five by three of polished black stone blocks coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a T-shape of polished black stone in the middle. Then in front of that, three polished black stone on the sides. And then on the second block, inward facing upside down stairs on each side a block in the middle, and three blocks across the top. Then three acacia wood slabs coming up this gap, and on this side to be the stairs for this end. Switch back to a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to that middle second block for the coupler. Delete the ones we use for placement, and we'll put two dark oak fence gates under here to be an airway. Next, on this top outside edge, we're gonna go end to end with a row of acacia slabs at the very top. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So on the very top, another row of acacia slabs end to end. This will give us the orange stripe for the bottom of the caboose here. Then we'll come on top of the end here, on the third block back from the end of the caboose, and we're gonna put a door in the middle. I'm using an oak door. You can use whatever door you think looks best. Then two yellow concrete on each side of it. On the left, on the second layer, a yellow concrete. On the right, a column of two light blue stained glass and another glass on the left side. Two yellow here, two, a yellow above the door and two yellow on this side. Then we're gonna repeat the same pattern down here. So a door in the middle, two yellow concrete on each side, 
On the next layer, on the left, a yellow concrete. On the right, two light blue stained glass blocks and a light blue stained glass block on the left. Then two yellow on the side, a yellow concrete in the middle, and two yellow concrete on this side here. Then we're going to swing out to the side here, and we're going to do a single layer of yellow concrete on the outside edge going end to end. We'll do the same thing here, a single layer of yellow concrete. Then starting from the end here, we're going to put a column of two yellow concrete on each side. Then we're going to skip two blocks and we're going to make a two by four of yellow concrete. Skip two blocks and we're going to do a two by two of yellow concrete. Skip another two and a two by two again. Skip another two and fill in down to the end with yellow concrete. Then we'll just come across to the other side and copy our yellow concrete pattern over directly from the opposite side. Once we have all that in place, we're gonna fill all these gaps with light blue stained glass panes for the windows. And of course, we'll do the same thing over here. So fill in all these gaps with light blue stained glass panes for the windows on this side here. Once we have that on the top layer, we're gonna go all the way around the top outside edge with orange concrete. So it should make a giant rectangle and cover the tops of the windows going all the way around. Then we're gonna come above the inner edge of this first window and we're gonna put five smooth stone blocks coming sideways across the top here, just like this. Then a column of two on each side in front of it and in this middle, light blue stained glass, smooth stone, light blue stained glass. Then we're gonna put four smooth stone blocks coming forward on each side and come across this end. Then one here and here light blue stained glass on each side and a smooth stone in the middle. Then two light blue stained glass panes on either side of this to frame in the cupola. Now we'll come down inside here underneath this cupola and under the windows on each side of the cupola up here, we'll put three smooth stone blocks coming across. Then, still using our smooth stone, we're gonna put two on each side under the middle of the cupola. Then a column coming up on this side here and on the opposite side on the other side. This will give us room for our ladder since we're only working with a three block space. Put a ladder coming all the way up here so you can get up there and a ladder on this side. In these gaps, we'll put a column of bookcases to be some shelving. Same thing over here. And we have just enough room to get through there. Then we'll do a column of smooth stone here and here just to frame it in. And we'll come through here and do the same thing down here. We'll put a column here and a column of four here. And now we have just enough room to get through and we have ladders to climb up here. We'll put two stairs up there to be seats. Then we'll come on this short side of the caboose here and make a sink. So come on down in this end, in the corner, we're gonna put a cauldron, fill it with water, Hit that with light blue dye, and put a trip wire hook for the faucet. Then we're gonna put two sideways anvils for the water tank, crouch, and we'll put two iron trap doors on it for a counter. On this side, we'll just put in some storage chests. So throw some chests in here, however you want, or you can leave it open. Then we'll come work on this other end down here. Over here, we're gonna put a stair on each side for seats, turn around, skip a block, and another stair. Then, an end right on each side with a carpet above it so there's some tables. Then we're gonna go ahead and put in some more chests just so there's some storage. So put three chests across here on each side. On this side, we're gonna have a little stove to heat it. So we'll put a blast furnace, and then we'll raise up 
polished deep slate walls two blocks above the roof line here. Then we're gonna do some beds. So down here on the third block on each side from the end, we're gonna put a bed on each side. Then we'll put two temporary blocks above the beds for now and another bed on top of those blocks. Then on the ends, we're gonna close acacia trap doors to be like the frame and the ladder. We'll do the same thing here and here. And actually, I'm gonna raise the trap doors up by another one so we can make it look like it's sturdily connected to the walls here. We'll do the same thing on this end, so add another trap door on each side. Then we can come in and we'll delete these temporary blocks and we have bunk beds on this end of the caboose. Then we'll come up here and we're going to start filling in the roof on the middle three with smooth stone blocks. And we'll go ahead and just fill it all in and bring it all the way back. We'll come right around this pipe coming out of this furnace and bring it all the way to the edge of this cupola. And we'll fill in the middle three of the roof down here as well. Then we're going to put a line of smooth stone blocks coming up the middle here to pass where the edge of the roof is. Same thing here, come right up the middle with it and we'll come two blocks past the edge of the roof. Then we're going to go in and grab an iron trap door real quick and along this middle row of blocks we just built put a line of iron trap doors right up to here and then one on top of that pipe. And then same thing here. Then we're gonna make two rows of smooth stone slabs on this side coming to the end of it. And same thing here. Then we'll do the same thing up here. Two wide of smooth stone slabs. Come right around this exhaust pipe. And extend it all the way out to the end of it here. So there's a little roof over the porch. Same thing on this side. And we'll just fill this all in too wide with smooth stone slabs. Then we'll come up and do the roof for the cupola here. So come on top of it. And we'll fill it in five wide and four long here and just cover the roof of this cupola with smooth stone slabs. Now we're almost done, it's just detailing from here on out. On the end here, we're gonna make a column of four dark oak fences on each side of this stairway. Then come right across the end here with it. And then same thing on this side, a column of four here and here. We'll do the same thing at this end. So a column of four here, a column of four here. And come right across the end of this with it. A column of four here and a column of four here. On this left hand side we're going to make two columns of fences coming up to represent a ladder until it reaches that roof. Do the same thing on this end, so two columns on the left hand side here and raise it up by three till it reaches the roof. On the right hand side a single column to represent a support post. And of course the same thing down here, a single column on the right hand side. Then right here, we're gonna close a jungle trap door for the brake wheel. Then we have to make some banners here. So we're gonna come into a loom, first with a yellow banner and black dye. Horizontal on top, vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom, switch to yellow dye and put a yellow border around it. Then we're gonna go to a black banner and white dye. Horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle, horizontal on bottom, switch to cyan dye. We're going to put a cyan circle in the middle. And then we're going to switch over to black dye and put a black border. Then a new black banner and white dye. We're going to put a white border and then a horizontal white line through it. Then we'll come up and we'll place these here. So on this side of the caboose, on the long end, one block over from the first window and a line with the windows, 
we're gonna put our letter C banner to represent the chassis system logo here. So we'll put that right here. Then we'll take out the one with the dot, put that one over from this window under the cupola, and the one with two black squares down in this corner. This side's slightly different. Over here, we put the C in front of this first window. Then we take out the one with the cyan dot, put it next to this last window, and the other one down in the corner here. On this side, we're gonna come underneath here, starting under the edge of this second window from the right. On the second block up, put a chisel deep slate and extend it down in a row of six. Then we're gonna take polished black stone buttons under where this chassis logo is, and we're gonna make a row of six extending out into each of the windows to represent where it says chassis system. Then we'll come to the other side underneath the C and start just to the left of it in a row of six polished black stone buttons for this side. Then we'll come on this top middle here, put a glow item frame and a redstone block for a marker light. We'll do the same thing at this end here. Then we're gonna go in and we're gonna grab a lantern real quick here. And we'll come under this porch and we'll put a lantern on each side of the top. Then we'll do the same thing for the porch on this end. A lantern hanging from each side of the top here. Then we'll come through and light the interior up. We're gonna use torches for the inside here. So we're gonna come in here. We'll put two torches right here then we'll come down here, put a torch on each side up in here. Come through here, and a torch on each side up in there. Now the interior is all lit up. Then we'll come back outside here, and we'll do one last thing. We're going to grab some gray carpet. And we'll put three gray carpet across this porch here. And then same thing at this end three gray carpet across this porch here. And there we have it folks. Something a little bit different today. We've completed this chassis system caboose. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.